They called it Ramaphoria, the reaction of many South Africans when Cyril Ramaphosa became president in February. Things had gone from bad to worse for his predecessor, Jacob Zuma. His eight years were blighted by a series of corruption scandals. Last year, people protested, calling for him to step down. He eventually resigned under pressure from his own party. And Ramaphosa has been promising to clean up ever since. This is the year in which we will turn the tide on corruption in our public institutions. He began with a cabinet reshuffle. Some of the controversial ministers of the Zuma years were out. But others stayed, including this man, Malusi Gagaba, now Minister of Home Affairs. Leaked documents linked him to major corruption scandals. He denied involvement. But it seems Ramaphosa has helped investor confidence. South Africa's currency, the Rand, and its credit ratings have stabilized since he took over. But the political opposition says it's not enough. I haven't seen anybody going to jail for the corruption, for corruption in South Africa. All we're hearing him is paying lip service to corruption and saying he's going to do this and he's going to do that. 100 days, I haven't seen anybody being arrested yet. Last month, Ramaphosa cut short a trip to a Commonwealth summit in London when people protested in the northwest province. They demanded the governor, a Zuma ally, to step down over poor delivery of public services, a frequently recurring issue in South Africa. Another key issue is land. Since apartheid, most of it still belongs to the white minority. Many black people are landless. Under pressure from opposition, in February, Ramaphosa's ANC supported a motion in Parliament to try and amend the constitution to allow government expropriation of land without payment. Historically, the ANC's rhetoric has been radical, with politicians promising redistributions of wealth. But in practice, its economic policies are centrist. In that respect, in spite of the talk of land redistribution, things haven't really changed much under Ramaphosa. He's been on the boards of several corporations and is widely seen as a friend to big business. With presidential elections due next year, Ramaphosa's performance in the months ahead will determine if the ANC can still win the majority it's always enjoyed. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg, South Africa.